you use me. Good evening, everyone. My name is Elias Duran. I am the uh, manager of esports operations at New York Tech. Welcome to the first match of the season. We have New York Tech Cybears versus the New Mercy College Mavericks. And today we have uh, an actually two casters with me today. Uh, guys, would you like to introduce yourselves? Hey, what's up? It's me, Rentai. I used to play for NYT as the starting ADT. And. Tragic. And I am uh, too tragic or just tragic. I play with a lot of the members on the NYIT team, I'm friends with a lot of them. Oh. Awesome. So we're going to, yeah, we're just going to get started with picks and bans right now. Uh, New York Tech banning out both Echo and the Akali, while Mercy College is banning out the Hecarim and the Kench, who is now benched. So a lot of these bands early on, the first three from both teams are going to be like more preference bands when they just really don't want to play against. Uh, as we can see from Mercy's side, that Hecarim, Tom Kench is probably a huge priority, especially Hecarim with uh, Not Savior being, uh, has a really high win rate in Diamond. Diamond or climb, climb to Masters with it, actually. Oh, yeah. And a Rek'Sai ban as well. Uh, surprising yeah. that a Rek'Sai is banned, as he is also the counter to Hecarim, so there's no point in picking Rek'Sai, picking Rek'Sai at all if Hecarim's banned. I don't know mm -hmm. where that ban is coming from, but, oh, and first pick Zeri. Uh, this is one of the new champions in League of Legends, more commonly in the ADC role, has high mobility. Oh, this is going to be really and interesting. Yeah, Mercy response with Darius Diana. Ziri has an extremely high ban rate in the LEC currently, and really interesting this Diana pick because not Savior three kind of main picks is Hecker and Rexai and Diana. My so God. they kind of really targeted not Savior with this, and it's gonna be interesting to see what he goes on to here. Yeah, we might see like Bolivar maybe. I think they're trying to finish off their bottom ADC. But they end up picking Yasuo to deny the Diana Ya. I don't know why they're hovering Galio actually. Uh, unless oh, that's okay. Um, then uh, Mograth does play Yasuo top, uh, not very frequently, but he did kind of binge it for a while. Mm -hmm. So I guess they are giving him, uh, I guess a fun pick for him because he definitely does enjoy playing Yasuo and just putting Hector on his uh one trick pick. comfort pick yeah yeah how long has Zeri been out it's over two weeks right over two weeks yep. yeah it's crazy I, I feel like they had just released her and then they just started announcing the new champ the next champion like right after yeah and I heard that that's actually because Zeri got delayed by a lot uh... so she came out way later than she was supposed to, causing the next champion to then get released seemingly sooner than they should. Surprisingly, we see a Vayne ban um, after the ADC gets picked. That's I'm assuming, really confusing. Yeah, I, I'm assuming Mercy is really stunted right now in terms of their draft pick order, as NYT has <laughs> stolen Yasuo from the Diana-Yasuo combo from Mercy. Um, why? Is that a top Vayne ban? Um... Yeah, it's really confusing because, I mean, I guess they just don't know what to ban out from Not Savior because, like I said, those three champions that he plays are already either picked or banned. And then after that, it's just all supports. So maybe they wanted to try to ban Vayne support? And we already see, it looks like we're seeing some targeting against the support for, against Mercy College too, with the, uh, with both the Nami and the Yumi banned out. Yeah, and surprisingly, this. Nautilus. Game... It's, there's no uh, Janna Top Smite, one of the also other metas of League this season. Excuse Played me? Played in LCS today. Yeah. Wasn't um, it FlyQuest? FlyQuest, yeah, yep. Fly and they did yeah. win in like a over 45 minute game. Oh my <laughs> god, I, dude. I, must not fall. I actually played one game of it, so I do have a PhD in it. Oh, so, so what is what is the review? The review is that both teams are probably not going in <laughs> because they already have their top laners. And 
Mercy is gonna pick the misfortune. This misfortune is probably to fight the gal the team fighting comp that NYT has. However, there's a Yasuo with a win wall. So mm -hmm. just completely just disregard the yeah. entire ults from misfortune. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I really think it's interesting that uh Mercy is going with the Zed Darius with Diana Jungle. Their entire top side is like oh. really aggressive feeling. Um, oh. Wait. The Zillion support pick. Zillion support. Um, okay. Lack, Yasuo lack top. of AP. Yeah, we'll have to see once they switch up. I mean, all three of us are just very confused. <laughs> We're all though. very confused. Yeah. We're supposed I to be the experts the in the room. Is, yeah, the lack of AP is kind of concerning, but I mean, Zeri can go AP. Pink no, actually, Lord, does no, it? There's, there's two AP. No, there's actually three APs. Oh, there's wait, never mind. I'm blind. Galio? Yeah. I forgot about that. Never mind. Then they should the be fine. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of tank jungles, so I really like the Zac coming out. I think it adds so much utility. This is a pretty standard comp from Mercy's side. They kind of just picked in order, actually. As far as NYT, they are. Starting the first game with like a really interesting draft, uh, Zeri being first picked and you know, not Savior putting getting put on uncomfortable champions. Not to say that he probably won't pop off, but considering that Diana Hecarim Rexai <laughs> are not available to him, this is just very unlucky. I um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Zed mid pick here. I think that they could have definitely gone for something with more like utility for the team, but with having their bot lane be MF Seraphine and Diana Jungle, I think that it's totally okay. Um, and they can definitely play extremely aggressive with this team comp. You get that two minute and thirty eight seconds delay. Um, so yeah, we could just keep talking about the team comps overall. It was really nice. I think it's really nice to see the Zeri out already. I didn't expect it to go through so soon, just, uh, especially due to the fact that it was, uh, it's been banned out or picked so much in LEC. It's like the most I've seen it. Um, yep. I love how they it's just like threw us for a loop with the Yasuo. <laughs> We're just like, where the hell is this Yasuo going? What the heck is happening here? But, um... If you had, if yeah. you, if there were no names on anybody and you just looked at two team comps, what would you, what, what would you say, which team has the more, a more of an advantage here? I think NYT does have an advantage due to just, I think there's just laning mechanics mm -hmm. from Zeri that is just still unknown to a lot of people, especially me, because I haven't been playing bot lane. But from what I've seen, it's just that they need to start just matching with Zeri's tempo and it's really hard to do if this is like your first team game to get everyone on pace saying hey we need to you know get as far as head as Zeri but it's really hard and new to this season as well I think it would be the third plating in competitive so the mm -hmm. if you're behind the bounty turrets or mm -hmm. else uh, leads a lot of room for comeback for a lot of these teams. So these teams need to be on their top form in terms of keeping their lead up because one mess up could lead to a loss for both teams. Yeah, I think that if, like you said, with the no names over anyone who would have picked to win, I think that if this was solo queue, I would put all the money on Mercy any day of the week. But as this is not solo queue and it's a full team event, I think that uh, NYIT would probably take it. I really think that like there's a lot of combo potential between like Galio Yasuo, Zach Yasuo, Zeri just zoning and playing far away, Zillion increasing movement speed on Zeri, bombs, revive. They have so much more that they can do, I feel, at any given moment mm -hmm. relative to Mercy. So with them being able to be coordinated, it, I think it's going to be pretty favored for them. All right. So we got our predictions in and looks like we will be going in with our spectator delay now. 
Just to let everybody in chat know, we are playing with a three minute delay on stream and then the game is already three minutes delayed. So, you know, the, the, we have our usual kind of thing here. Uh, we're gonna play our favorite game as soon as this pops up. Uh, who wins just by skins alone is the question. We're just waiting for it to pop up on my screen before I can just move over there. If League of Legends would load. There we go. Uh, I was about to say there's uh, some synergy in the bottom lane with the uh, Star Guardian misfortune. I forgot Seraphine is not Star Guardian. It's just the way Seraphine looks normally. Yeah. Uh, I actually think NYT just actually wins this. Yeah. Probably I don't, due I don't to like a lot of the chance. skins. I don't like a lot of the skins on... Um, like, I'm not a fan of Star Guardian. But mm -hmm. I really, I think the Dream Dragon Yasuo is pretty, pretty cool, and Infernal Galio is pretty cool. Also, that Zachroma, not to be forgotten. Oh, oh, oh it's I, the I pink can't see one. It. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't show. It. Yeah, it just says it just says the name. It doesn't put the. Uh... And that's the pink one. Should be. Okay, well, ignoring every other skin, then yes, it's Zach wins it for the team. Yeah. There we go. Taking a little bit to load it on this one, but rough computers. Yeah, it's just any, rough. Any uh, any interesting summoner spells or uh, runes? No, nope. you think? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Zeri going exhaust is pretty standard for ADC. I'm surprised Yasuo. Oh, there we and... go. Double ignite mid too. Yeah. Two of both of the top laners are opting to go. Wow, what's... No, no heal on the side of NYIT either. Zeri took ex exhaust. It's an exhaust ignite bot lane. Uh, Rentai, has it loaded in for you? No, it hasn't. It's just black screen, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> just glad it's not just me. I can move around. It's just like the shadow realm of the of hit, the, hit of... the hit the go back fifteen second button. I think that go back fifteen. It. Okay. Or press pause and play. Nothing. I don't know that. Nope. Try slash reload. That might work. I know that's all the thing on a lot of things. Nope. Nope. Never mind then. Wow. Okay, so we're cutting in with some rousing League of Legends action right now. Um I really <laughs> this has never happened before. Yeah, this <laughs> It's the first time I've seen this too. You could, uh, I don't know. The thing is, we can't leave the game because it's, uh, it's. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Huh. Well. Um. Hmm. What a great start, too. <laughs> a great start. I'm just glad it's not just on my end, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm glad it's not just my computer that's just dying. I don't yeah. know why I tried remaking. Uh, you can <laughs> oh, remake. Oh, uh, there we go. It's working. Click on a uh, random spot in the timeline and start it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. So... I knew that there was something you click on to fix it. The timeline. Uh, what time you are you guys uh... at right now? Okay, well, we'll pause at uh, 15. Okay. 15 seconds in game time. Uh, yeah, I'm at 15 seconds in game time. Let me know when you want All me right. to play. Three, two, one, start. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hopefully they five point. Yeah. Team team's not five pointing is my solo queue nightmare. Uh, so hopefully they're coordinated and do that. Another coordinated game on Summoner's Rift, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have our normal starts going off all over the place. Pings on to specific people. Yes, it is the pink Zach, and it looks like he is doing that taunt, but he's still inside the bush. It still confuses me. Very defensive word from the uh, Diana, and uh, it might actually not be able to see Zach at certain angles if you don't place that on the edge of the bush. It's kind of similar to the pixel brush. Mm -hmm. That's a really safe ward right there from Diana. Too bad she couldn't... Oh, we're going to have a little bit of a... Uh, Yasuo running is going to run directly into Darius, but Darius is going to take a hit and just say, nah, whatever. 
ward down already from Darius. That's pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. If he late ganks top, he's going to be blind. <clears throat> Very yeah. defensive wards coming out from Mercy so far. Looks like uh, Zach will be starting red and uh, Diana will be starting blue. So it looks like they will both end up on top side if they go the correct way. Yeah, it kind of makes sense because of Yasuo versus Darius top and the Diana wanting to play towards the aggressive like Zed Darius lane. Go see who hits what levels first. Zach could full clear into level four and have a level lead if he chooses to, but it doesn't seem like he's gonna. I want to say I'm surprised to see this Yasuo top, but I'm also not. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Yasuo and Yon, well Yon specifically has been played top a lot recently. Um, so it only makes sense that Yasuo could also go top. Big oh, bot lane okay. oh my first gosh. disconnect. Oh, Ignite and kill the first air. blood to Zillion. Great job. That's huge for the yeah, bot lane. I if you saw what Misfortune had going there, I mean, the bomb was just placed in front of her, so there was no point There's in There's no moving. point in even moving, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she could have flashed it. Yeah, she could have flashed it, actually, but it's... And the kill uh, was already given over, and... Yeah. No. It was a bit late to the reaction that the second bomb had exploded, but... No. It is what it is. Oh, and and here tower dive here, level tower. 3! Zach's Very gonna go aggressive. in, and yeah, it's gonna be a really quick and one, and unfortunately, Zach will be popping this passive, passive yeah. But here comes Diana into the top lane, and Yasuo will be meeting up with them. Diana's going to shy away and from that one, and another so kill in the mid lane, and it's they're still gonna die slaughtered. top once again. Wow. 4 yeah, 1 New York Tech. As I said before, these are just. All of these. Um. These team comps are winning through lanes only. I feel like Mercy, if they played correctly, they could have had a stable lead going into mid game. But because of how the first four kills have gone into NYT's hand, it's going to be really rough from here on out for Mercy. And what we didn't talk about was the huge lane that stacked topside that is going to tower is going to give a huge lead to Mograth in the top yeah. lane. And with Dragon coming up, I expect NYT to be putting their uh, focus on to that Dragon that is, as mm -hmm. it is the Fertile Drake for this one. Yeah, already a like Ooh, 15 connecting. CS lead in both top and ADC. The Zed mid set taking... has to be a little bit more careful with that. You can't just walk into lane. But here comes the Zack coming directly in, and that's going to be a punch directly to the face. Hecti going to put up another kill up on the board, going 2-0 in mid lane. Yeah, and we see from uh, from the top side, Margareth is trying to pull that wave back into him. So we're going to mm -hmm. see a huge freeze, and Darius is going to be stunted in gold. Yeah, and this that's is... gonna be very huge for NYT. This is a huge slaughter happening so far, and if NYT plays it correctly, it's just gonna bleed them out. It's gonna be a much faster game than uh, is expected. Rentai, really quick, uh, in terms of a technicality point, on the top bar, do you only see gold count, or do you also see turrets? Uh, only gold count. Okay, cool. That is still not just me. Here come. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Zach's gonna jump directly in with Hecti popping the ult. I'm not sure if they will dive this, and it looks like they will not. As Diana looks to be going to get the Rift Herald and has already gotten. Uh, no. I don't think it's spawned yet. It's not, hasn't even spawned. They're just in there. Yeah, they're and I'm surprised. At Scuttlecrab. NYT is not looking towards Dragon there. After getting a huge, huge lead in the bot side, even without the kills, these leads do end up making the Misfortune and Seraphine just really scared. Plus, they are not able to fight without giving up waves. So, yeah. slight blunder, but I wouldn't say it's something that would change the game to Mercy's favor. 
While Zed still isn't 6, it might be because of the fact that uh, Hector used his ult and doesn't have it now. That they don't have that utility. And if Zed does hit 6, then they can try to flip a fight at Dragon. Oh, so we might see something in the river as they, uh, Hector was able to spot the Zed moving towards bottom lane. Well, it looks like they're going to be meet, be, be, be meeting back up in the mid lane. First Dragon is going to be Inferno. Okay. <laughs> it took a little while mentally, but I got there. And uh, now that the uh, jungle camps have started their second set of reds and blues, teams are both going to be pathing top side again um, and probably looking for another top play. Oh. Or and... going for a dragon. Yeah, and both side lanes are at a huge CS advantage. Yeah, already. So, I, Double all, the CS and ADC. Lanes, all lanes top. are pretty ahead. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> looking rough. Top mid and uh, top mid and bot all have are within five CS of each other. Yeah, now they're gonna be looking for the dragon, as misfortune did back, which is pretty huge for her, as now she can't even get that wave or the dragon. And Zeru was, Zeru was able to get the turret plate as well, which is some good solo gold turret plating. And Dragon, Infernal Dragon. getting deep vision. Nope. Infernal Dragon going towards NYT. This is something Mercy College needed to... to amp up their damage a little bit. Yeah. I some... personally would have liked to see the Diana try to path into the enemy blue here and try to steal some oh. resource. Okay, um, Zed's gonna be going in. He's gonna be popping the ult onto Hecti, but it's looks to be for not <laughs> as a not yeah, is gonna get another kill for themselves. That was a great gank from slight Zed. misplay. Yeah, good gank from Zach. It was a slight misplay from Hector. He activated or deactivated the taunt like too early, but it still ended up in his favor. But it was way too close, closer than what should have been expected. Yeah, especially with the lead that is happening right now, it's hard to get any sort of one-on-one -on -one play. Yeah, and... Wow, actually, Aoife's doing what I've been doing as a lot as a top laner. Um, as a Darius. And, gonna... and no, I don't think uh, Darius is going to be able to top. God. Um, They're just all over brunch. the place. Yeah, Already a 4k gold lead. Let's take a look at the gold uh, on the on the champions themselves. Not even close. Says we're gonna have a little bit of a wow. fight here down back here in the, the bottom lane. Biological top will be going down. And meanwhile, it looks like Yasuo could be taking a little bit more damage that he could handle. He's gonna take a a moon blade to the face. Yeah, the Yasuo is 2k gold up than Darius, which Oh, that me. is not a small well, amount. Zach into the Yasuo ult combo. Are they going to get the Diana here? They yes. are, and Mograf and will they be. Both live. Oh my god. Oh, it's so hard to see it. Zed almost died to a to a gust of wind as well. And not save your survive with his passive. Yeah, and the real state, the real way for Mercy to come back if they ever do plan to um mercy mercy needs to get that misfortune really fed i think the other lanes are just getting weight focused way too hard and so it leaves up to the misfortune diana could combo with misfortune so this and with seraphine and with seraphine so this is something they should be focusing up to unfortunately there's a yasuo but i mean in this situation what can you actually do yeah, I do think that Diana has an amazing gank angle in the bot lane. Uh, it does not, it's a really easy lane to land your combo. Seraphine ult, MF ult, and then Diana ult, and, you know, by then, everyone is gone. Um, so I would like to see them play towards that, or close to that. But Diana's pathing topside again, and it does not look like it's going to be happening. Man, uh, the Zillion really not missing on these bombs, just heat seeking towards the MF. Not giving her room to breathe at all. 
Yeah, it's a really bad sign when the uh, Seraphine support is out leveling the MF ADC. My god. It's uh, it's looking rough, and the aggressive play from the Ziri going on Seraphine. Uh, Seraphine's gonna dead. pop the ult. And then the client just decides to show us mid lane. Thank you, client. But... Apparently, bottom lane wasn't uh, it wasn't spicy enough for the client. Well. So Dragon's coming up. There's a huge lead in the CS department from top side. Despite having to oh, kill lead, no. he also has the CS lead and he's just freezing. Over triple his CS. And oh. this is something I've personally talked about with Magrath a lot, is how threatening the top lane can be where if you get a small lead, the you can just kill. let the enemy top laner not play the game. Not saviors yeah. and start chasing down the oh MF God, towards what? their turret. Yeah, Zach getting a solo kill there, that's... Here comes Zeri. Yep. And Man, there goes MF. Yeah. MYT is capitalizing on the fact that... Well, Misfortune is the only way they could come back with this game. Top lane is officially just, just gone, gone from the yeah. game. Uh, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but this game is looking really rough. Is this a best of one or a best two out of three? This is best out of three. Okay, so there yeah. is a chance for, you know, Mercy to maybe next game, you know, focus up and pull it back yeah. and win. Yeah, for sure. I think they can take this game, realize some changes they can have, and, you know, more focus. What's well, going to be the soul? It's going to be the ocean. Yeah, and this game, Mercy's still not out. It's 13 minutes. And he, again, as I've mentioned during Champ Select, there is turret bounties, so if NYT does not step up and defend those turrets, it could be take care of their own turrets. Yeah, it could change into Mercy's way. 1330 Immortal Bow for the Yasuo, and also Trinity Force for the Zeri. I was just about to comment and say that the Zeri is going Trinity Force instead of something like the Kraken Slayer, which I've seen a lot in different LEC, LCS uh, pro play. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's super interesting that she's going to go Trinity Force, uh, which is kind of the solo queue dominating build right now. And, uh, looks like top might be dead again. Oh, no. This is a monstrous lead in the top oh, lane. No. Oh, bottom ADC lane. I don't dead even again. have time to cast that because MF died so quickly. Gonna start chasing down the Seraphine. The chilling yeah. smite, smite isn't a connect. Knockup. And that's going to be a kill over for Zeri, finally getting another kill up on the board. Objective Bounty is now up on the and first turn. Three it's members of NYT have a 400 gold bounty. The only ones that don't are 150 for Galio and zero gold bounty on the support. Yeah. And another kill on Diana. <laughs> Fade away Gust of Wind is going to kill him on, on that one. Oh my god, he's oh, bombs and oh, he's Zach and right he's... after. He thought he was safe. Golden. And yeah. now every member of NYT has a bounty. He needed to get oh his bounty. Oh my god. Zeri 2v1ing in the bot lane. Just 2v1ing through everything. He's going to dodge Last the Seraphino. Oh, and then he's going to go in to see if he can get their next one. And they will. A double kill coming through. Two solo kills. Winning the 2v1. That was a beautiful flash from Injury Sue. Perfect. On the Ziri. Hey, you, you still got to feel bad for the topside matchup. Nothing is happening, but Darius have has been bleeding since the game has started and uh playing playing top lane like that has to feel really terrible on your and mental like the <laughs> in general yeah, just in general there's almost a four times cs lead in the top lane oh. i think that's, that's gonna... brutal <laughs> I think, what's the yeah. gold difference gold difference i'll check right now it's 10k i know in total but uh, about 3k pushing 4k difference Okay, make that yeah, make that solid 4k uh, Difference 
2k mid, 1k Ooh. jungle. Andrew might be caught out here, ADC. but it looks like the sun's gonna come out from the Zillion, and Andrew is gonna be able to pick up another kill for themselves. Here comes the Zed. Won't do anything, but it did kind of scare them off a little bit. You know, you know that at this point in the game, the Zack is really upset that he died once. Yeah, technically, he is feeding. Technically, he is the biggest inter on his team. <laughs> By technicality. Um, I would be no playing him. Oh so my god. That no, zillion bomb is doing so much. I, uh... I just don't. I think at this point, Mercy should be looking at their draft for next game. Probably thinking about bans. They could keep the Hecarim Rek'Sai and ban out Zeri in addition and hope that fixes it. Even though it seems like the Yasuo top, the most confusing pick that was uh, picked for NYT Here is the most Zach. dominant one. The stun's gonna come in, and unfortunately the MF stun. is gonna be a little bit too wide up on the side. Lesbo Felilio is gonna be able to get that kill in and put, go into a killing spree. Looks like Darius is just gonna stop moving for that one for a little bit. And that's gonna be a double kill going over to the Zillion. New York Tech taking Every the lead, not, not allowing anyone to breathe whatsoever. We all have to hunt. On God. every member of Cloud, or of of Cloud 9. <laughs> The two biggest bounties are Yasuo mm. and Zeri. And they're gonna be looking for another kill. Z uh, Zed, oh, Zed survive. Oh, no. Zed going in deep. Shield bow what shield. Is... He gets to live. Will we have oh, a kill in? That's died. another kill on to Diana. That's gonna be a Margaret pretty big into... bounty. But that looks like it's Seraphine is gonna get taunted out. It's gonna get pulled in and rooted and killed. And what is the no uh, timer on this game? Uh, 1820. 18:20 right now. Are they gonna try to end sub 20 minute game? I am. I do not think so. I think they're gonna be going back on this one. Yeah, they should definitely get the dragon here before they full reset. Maybe they're gonna go for a um. I keep forgetting dragon into Baron push. They can end soon easily. It, it would only take one more <laughs> one more good kill. Push, they yeah. even potentially could have ended there. Okay, objective gold bounty is going to be going. Hey, well, it won't help in New York Tech at all, but I mean, it is there. It's so brutal because when you see the objective bounties come on, usually you can look at one lane that was winning and has a low tower that you can mm -hmm. just take out to get the extra gold and get something back. But uh, no, they didn't take any tower damage really. You know, 20 minutes in, there's only two kills to 25. With a Ooh, Zed might find the Yasuo difference. here. Very brutal. Oh man, I thought I was gonna dare. He's gonna have some time to himself to be able to see us. But here comes Hecti in the top lane. He's gonna hit the Taun and with the Gust, gonna kill him off. The question mark ping. I'm not sure why he was so far ahead, knowing where the rest of his team was. Yeah, I'm sure Mercy at this game would, at this point, would enjoy also being able to play the game. <laughs> um, at, at this point, I would, if I was on Mercy, I would just say to go next. Yeah, and, it's and honestly try very, very to, try to reset mentally and win <laughs> it there. I think the biggest mental hurdle right now is going to have to be from Medarius. He has to overcome that. This, this. <laughs> huge top gap that is happening right now and hope that maybe he can get onto a maybe put Darius onto a champion that they're uh that they're more comfortable on New York Tech is barren up and will soon be knocking on the door of the base as MF will now be chased down by the Zac and the Zillion will be killed off. Hex is gonna get another single, uh, uh, another solo kill onto the Darius and looks like they're just pushing in with two people. Oh, we made that a third person. 
The pull-in is gonna work, and that's gonna be Biological Top being knocked around. The Hecti is just gonna ult in just for the fun of it, just to get there as quickly as possible. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that will be it. New York Tech with the ace. Yeah, and they're looking to close this game. Um, Mercy needs to find something, find some holes if they found any holes from the NYT side to abuse. And they're gonna finish this game in 21 minutes. All right. Yeah, I think the biggest takeaway here is to just, as bad as advice as it sounds, is just don't die early. Uh, I feel like a lot of inexperienced players try to push a lead, a, a lead that they don't have, or push and do something that they just shouldn't and don't know that they don't, they can't do. Mm -hmm. And here it was kind of like Darius got poked a little bit too low in this lane. Obviously, Yasuo's hop isn't played much, so he didn't realize that he couldn't give up on the uh, minion wave as much. And because of that, he got punished for it. He got really low too early, and then he got dove. Um, especially Zach with his passive, he couldn't really get in return kill. Um, and same with bot lane. Bot lane probably pushed up on the wave too much, didn't expect the, the damage coming out from Zillion or the damage coming out from Zeri, and got an early kill down there. Uh, if they play a little bit safer, maybe they can draw out to more of their item spikes and maybe with better bans like a ban on the Zeri or a ban on Yasuo instead of the Rek'Sai or something they can um hope to not lose as fast and be able to draw out their power spike and maybe get a lead and win all right and uh we're gonna be going to next game in just a few moments ladies and gentlemen to give our uh give ourselves a small breather um, and we will be back with picks and bands in just a few moments. So see you guys in a bit. All right, we're back.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is game number two, New York Tech Cybears versus Mercy College Mavericks. New York Tech is leading right now, 1-0 uh, versus the Mercy College Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be straight into drafts. Um, Zach banned from Mercy side, and they just did not like the Zach from that game. I'm <laughs> really not a fan of that as I... If they let Hecarim through, I feel like that's going to get picked, and that's going to be a lot worse than the Zach. I don't yeah, think Zach was as big of an issue as they might think. Yeah. This it was is, more the ADC in top. Yeah, this is more of the tunnel vis visioning into why they banned it. They forgot that the reason why it was up is because everything else was banned. And yes. NYT responds with the Diana ban, keep it, banning the Diana from last game. Which is the only recurring thing that's happening this game. So with these bands, I guess Mercy is just really scary. There we go. And there's yeah. still the Hecker and ban. Yeah, but uh, the very good ban from Mercy is Zeri. They just couldn't keep up with uh, understanding the the champion itself and its tempo. But I think there's much more than just Zeri. And there yeah, goes the Rexai. Rexai. Surprisingly, Rexai is being picked, despite Hecarim not being a problem anymore, but I guess it's more just a comfort pick. And Caitlyn is getting picked here, and this is one of those very important champions in the bottom lane. This means that Mercy is focusing their attention into the bot lane. Caitlyn... Uh, Rentai here is a Caitlyn enthusiast, oh, and I'm sure they I... tell us a lot <laughs> about the matchup. Yeah, I haven't played that champion in a while. And Talia. Talia gets picked right after. Um, really good pick. Talia could be flexed technically into three different champ lanes: uh, jungle, mid, and bot lane, uh, or ADCs. I mean, support. Wow. And does it all? Somewhere it's just she does it all. Somewhere. She does it all, and. Yeah, we're going to see the Senna getting picked. Oh my god, Timo scared me. I knew he wasn't going to do it. Hector just likes to show Timo. Yeah, and Renekton, if you Ooh. pick that, you're banned from the church. That's illegal if he picks the Oriana. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? Wow, interesting. Is that, that has to be Cho'Gath mid, I believe, because I have never seen Mograth play Cho'Gath. Yeah, uh, Hector... It's going to be picking Cho'Gath mid, unless that's the point and Renekton getting picked. So this means that <laughs> they really want to really get going. It's all out for game number two. Yeah. Game number really two is, picks. I think NYT is trying to get a cohesive comp this time around. And I Cho'Gath. will say... Um, this Renekton pick is actually really interesting because I talked to Magrath about recent play in ranked and in solo and duo and uh, in our friends and stuff like that. And he is not a fan of Renekton and it hates that champion with a passion, actually. So um, yeah. uh, it's very that, funny. Considering that that, that champion can 1v2 um, with, with just a shield. shield. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell we just played against that champion. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that champion either. Yeah. And surprisingly from Mercy, we're going to talk about bans. Jinx ban. I don't know why they have been banning ADCs once the ADC pick has been shown. I, I assume know. that Senna might be yeah. support with the recent Senna ban. Or Senna nerf got yeah, to Jordan. the souls on the, on the ADC kill. Yeah, but Senna is still good for ADC and Jordan has more experience. And whoa! We see a Darius pick. That means this is a Renekton mid into the Cho'Gath. Might be locking. So the Talia is either in jungle or support. Does Talia go well with Caitlyn? Talia does go. Talia is a good support. I don't think it goes too well with Caitlyn, mm. but it is it is something to stunt. Okay. Uh, and wow, Sion gets picked. Uh, uh, assuming that's as jungle. Expected. Wow, Sion top. Uh... Aoife, or Magrath, the, uh, his his last season win rate yeah. with Sion was very phenomenal, yeah. some would say. Um, actually, he, if he you had some really good game, games on him. Yeah, if you, if you reviewed his Vex. game, it's been really good mechanics on it. They, and, yeah, really good mechanics. Borderline illegal. Um, what but, is happening? 
Interesting. Yeah. I don't know so what's going actually, on with NYT. Actually, Vex, Vex and Senna are both still flex. Vex <laughs> could go ADC oh. and Senna support. Oh! Ooh. Okay! Oh, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of right. sense. That makes yeah. much more sense. Okay, good. It, the top lane still doesn't make sense, but we'll just like interview him so afterwards. Is Cho'Gath support with Senna? Is this just is this like a the oh, new fasting Senna type of thing? Yeah. So I am pretty sure this is what they want to achieve. It's a fasting Senna. Uh, if mm. not, uh, can you explain Senna to everybody still... what a fasting Senna is, really quick? Yeah. So fasting Senna is basically abusing Senna's passive where she gets souls off of auto-attacking uh, enemy champions and getting souls off of uh, dead dead creeps. So mm -hmm. in return, if Cho'Gath is the one that's farming, Senna could be farming those souls that drop out of those champions and those minions to further increase her damage and range. So... The, so this way, Senna actually goes to support item, but she's going to be acting as more of an ADC, dealing uh, as much damage as a traditional ADC does. Now, we will have to see if like they actually go that comp, and the only reason why Shogath works, just like Tom Kenj and any other tank, is because these type of champions help Senna set up for to grab these souls. Mm -hmm. it, they also help Senna to like get protected while trying to grab these souls. So all of these um make Senna this really strong hyper carry for the late game if it ever ends up happening. I'll say one thing I like about the uh Senna Cho bot lane is that Cho's ultimate allows him to theoretically stack infinite amounts of health. <laughs> and because of this that means that the bot lane is, and top lane actually, Scion also, also stacks an infinite amount of health <laughs> oh on God. CS. So this means that <laughs> this is a three stacking infinite lane on stats. Now, I have actually talked to Mograth personally about the ideal, in this situation it would probably be a, a little bit different. I said Thresh support, you send the Cho'Gath into the jungle or... Scion jungle, Cho'Gath top, and then Vigar mid, and you have the full infinite stacking mm. comp, <laughs> and then you just wait till end game. Um, so I might have had an influence on this uh, on this pick. I don't want to, you know, say that though because you never know. But I have talked to Mograth about this theoretically. <laughs> um, just an infinitely overall, stacking though, team. If you get to thirty yeah. minutes, it's just it's like fifty minutes. So yeah, you might as well just Zodia. It's like, it's like Zodia. <laughs> um. I do want to ask you guys, though, if, like you said last time, if there was no name shown, which team do you guys like more? Yeah, I think just think... NYT's team just looks funner. It just looks more fun. It's just yeah. it's, it's, it's a ticking time bomb of a team is basically what it is. I guess I'm really, yeah, I guess I'm really um, biased towards the Kalen pick. However, if Mercy plays around that Kalen pick really well, it's probably on their side but due to no names i would rather have mercy's comp just a little bit more because of that renekton and darius just having more of an influence in the game scion is just not going to have that much of a, of an influence until level six darius can have those mid game skirmishes at like level four to five which would help the talia a lot Plus, yeah. both Renekton and Darius could move VOD, assuming that both of them bring TP. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to Vex, probably is going to bring Ignite this game. So we're just going to have more man advantage. But given that these people do have names and Mercy is the one piloting them, as I said from last game, they needed to really get a handle of VOD lane and get them ahead which they have not done and not shown any like sort of compromise on compromise on just helping that ADC win. It's just mm -hmm. that it's not possible for Mercy unless they change their strategy like right now into a more winning comp. I will say that I'm kind of on Renti's side and like the Mercy team comp more. I feel like a lot of their champions um 
have a lot more uh, like aggression, I guess you could say, but more obvious plays. You know, Senna is very easy and simple to play champion. You kind of just CC. Um, Renekton has like a really strong, easy point click CC. Um, and overall, I kind of like their simplicity with their plays. They don't really have anything crazy. Um, but I will say that oh, same issue. NYT's damage spread, in my opinion, is a lot better. I really like that they have the Vex mid with the Cho support to do have two kind of AP damage dealers, with the rest being AD, um, and a lot of tankiness with the Sion and Cho Gath. Um, I think because of that, maybe I do favor NYT more because they do have so much tank and damage at the same time. Well. Mercy does, I think, lack in AP. They have Talia, but I'm kind of a fan of like 2 2 of AP AD with like a tank or something along those lines of a very even, like a more even spread. But that's kind of what I prefer. Um, so it didn't happen. It's unfortunate. I think, no. yeah, I think I'll change my answer actually. I do, I do like NYT's comp for that reason a little bit more. Um, but I think, like, you know, if this two teams are piloted by even level teams and mm -hmm. like LCS or something, I could see it going either way. Um, um really so, quick, Rentai, we'll what time do you have on your game just because of that delay? All right, we are at 30 seconds. Okay, so stop at 30 seconds and I'll catch up. All right, let me know once you're at 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All right, okay, there right. we go. <laughs> <laughs> let me know 32, 33, 34, right? Uh, Wait, 38. Uh, I'll stop at yeah, 40. Yeah, that's... You're gonna stop oh. at 40? Okay. We're gonna play wait, at 40. Wait. Uh... 45. Wait. Yeah. 45? Okay. Yeah. So... Hey, 40... Ready? One, two, three, click. Okay. Reason for that, if you guys were not looking at the last game, we had a little bit of an issue with the client, but every League of Legends no player knows about the client, so we don't have to explain that much to you all. Yeah, again, this is something I talked about last time, and uh, Mercy didn't do it. They did the, the unforgivable I, silver, not five-pointing. Yeah, um, if they did, I they would have seen the Vex. Yeah, they would have been able to see the Vex walk up. They wouldn't have gotten too much information, but they could have probably assumed that they have a ward on their um on their Raptors, and unless the ward behind red at, on red side is placed correctly, mm -hmm. they could have not seen the Rek'Sai actually get in there and place that and not know that there is vision there. Now, they're both going to, again, this game too, path towards topside, which is very interesting. So it might not come into play too much, um, depending on, you know, path timings. But um, really interesting, Re Rek'Sai has no items. Yeah, Rek'Sai forgot his jungle uh... item, which means that he's not going to get level 2 off of this, which might stun the exchange in the crab. That's really bad. He's recalling. Yeah. And we can also see from the items, Senna... The bot lane is going for the... The Fasting, fasting Senna. Senna. Yeah. Which means you can see how it's going from here. He's, Senna is just doing what her job is doing. <laughs> harassing. Auto -attacking. Yeah, harassing, getting as much soul as you can. Because these souls don't come for free. And, uh, yeah. and Jiritsu very, very close up, knowing that uh, the Leona does not have her Zenith Blade just yet. Let's see if the Darius can get a little bit more of a CS, uh, like even out CS uh, this game. Yeah, I mean, we just better hope that Aoife does not get level 6 or else we're going to see some high level mechanics coming from the Scion. Aoife has been practicing since last season. I want to say that I really don't like what the jungler on NYIT did here. Even with that mistake, or actually never mind, I'm wrong. He did the exact right thing that he should have done. Which Would is? you like to elaborate? Um, no, <laughs> I forgot that uh, he didn't hit two off of red, and he went to wolves, which is actually the correct play because because he didn't have his jungle item, he got less XP. So getting wolves brings you to two, and then getting blue gromp, it will probably hit him to three. Um, but what a lot of junglers do is they can go they go like red into wolf blue gromp, and that's a lot of Getting damage the wolves there. on the top lane. Yeah. Will Darius survive this? Dead? Yes, no, he will not. You know, he will, but it's just going to be very close. Zenith Blade is going to go on to the bottom lane, though, as Injuritsu will be caught out. Silence onto the Leona, and she will be flashing out. That's going to be a flash for flash. 
in the bottom lane. Huge health, huge health swings in the bot lane. But here comes the Tyler and the bottom gank. No. Oh, go and, and mid gank and mid the at right the same side. time. First blood, First blood. go over to New York Tech though. Ooh, As flash away by the choke out. Is he still dead? Is close. Ignite it takes him down. Kill for the support. It's unfortunate that they kill for the support, but like, great. Oh, and this might get a return trade kill on the Caitlyn. Gotta still be very careful. Oh, and oh, and great job okay. from the Talia to be able to get that kill for themselves. This and could be great for uh, for the side of Mercy. This is kind of exactly what they wanted. They're playing towards their bot side, which is what uh, Rentai talked about a, a lot last game. Now, it might have just been because it was MF, but this could be a great sign. And that's a lot of minions going into tower that Senna's not going to get. Mm. Having back top again for the Talia. I would like to see a recall soon from the Talia to try to keep tempo. But we'll see how things go. Yeah, and clearing that walls right now is probably not the great idea. The greatest idea. Uh, the only reason why is because if you backed earlier, you want to path bot, and since Dragon's not it's gonna, it's not gonna be up. You really want to path bot. Yeah, I honestly think I would have preferred it a full clear. Um, because yeah, I believe that her point. Raptors and Krugs are still level 1, level one. Yep. and you really want to kill them, set them on their timer to come back, because now they're going to come back let's, next time at probably like around level 5, 6, but now she's going to go and they're still level 1, they still haven't reset the first time, so they're going to be giving her next to nothing worth of value, and the timer for them still hasn't started. If you're already going to use the time to not back right away, and uh keep your tempo it's kind of better in my opinion to just keep going um and at least finish out the the camps but she's gonna path down to top side get back onto the blue um and scuttle crab timer and maybe regank bot because bot is pushing under tower again kill for top almost no nope just going low once again is mercy college showing some life on this one compared to last game yeah, I think uh, Scion's about to hit level 6. I don't see uh, Margareth play too much Scion, but um, I've played against Scion a little bit, and I know that there's the, you know, Ea minion ult combo, mm -hmm. and I would really like to see Margareth land some of it. He's 6 now, he does have that option. Um, but the Darius is going to recall and not allow him to even get close to Things coming out from for the mid lane. Looks like Rek'Sai is gonna look for something here, not knowing that Talia is right there. Question marks will come through, which means that they do know that Talia is there. Nice knock up onto the Renekton, but will Rek'Sai die? Yes, she will. To be another kill going over kill, to the Talia. Talia is chasing the Vex. Very close from both sides. Mercy is. They're 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 a different team from last game yeah mm -hmm. for sure and this is i'm really happy to see because this is kind of exactly what i wanted i really wanted to see them you know have like a really good game and this is kind of what they're doing the tally is inting no <laughs> tally are looking for the for the vex <laughs> yeah, but, okay god uh, she's <clears throat> gonna be looking for crab this is pretty good as she cannot do dragon so this is gonna yeah. give and she's now six damage. that opens up a lot the rex is still five five yeah and that is due to just not having the jungle item early mm -hmm. yeah i mean there is a cs difference and two kills um rather than just one for the talia so there are a few other things at play but this uh it seems like mercy's tempoing what's really interesting though is the gold difference uh when I said that was 300 gold in the favor of NYIT, even though they're up a kill for Mercy. Um, and I guess that just comes from maybe top lane and mid lane CS. Yeah, yeah probably all just from mainly mid lane and a little bit of top lane. Senna, zero CS. <laughs> Senna is with this, a is solid this still goose egg of CS. <laughs> is this still fasting Senna or is this um just a, basically a support Senna, but we have our ADC playing it? Uh, yeah, so actually with the passing Senna, you should, the only reason why Frank is pulling this question up is because 
Sana should have 4 CS a minute. Compared to the usual 10 CS, you would have to see from players. Okay. The 4 CS is to make the support item uh, activate and give you gold per auto attack. So, yeah, I mean, this is practically a support Senna. But surprisingly enough, Cho'Gath is ahead in CS of the Caitlyn. Despite uh... losing. Um, despite winning from the Caitlyn side, so... That shouldn't be happening yeah. at all, right? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. shouldn't be happening. And YT is now a 1,000 gold up in just CSing from the time that we started CS saying gonna miss. They were almost even a second ago, which is really interesting. Um, also, I don't know if you guys caught that, but Cho'Gath uh, used his first ult on the cannon minion. Um, Ooh, which... This could be something here! Down. As the Talia this ult is going to be able to cast both of them, it looks like the Andrito is going to be able to flash directly out. The control guy's going to be caught behind the wall, and he's still able to get one kill. Red, Red side's going to be able to get that first kill. He's going to be able to pick up a double kill. And will we see a triple coming off of Rex side? Yes, we will. As New York Tech turned that one around, Vex is now in the bottom lane, followed by the Renekton, looking for the Rex side. Will the Rex side survive? No, she will not, but the kill will be able, be able to go to, over to the Senna and Jiritsu now at 1-1-3. One, one, and three. A bloodbath of a, of a fight. Everyone in the bottom lane except for the top laners who were just like, ah. That was a slaughter. That's three kills over to the Rek'Sai and then a shutdown given onto the Renekton, which is absolutely huge. And exactly what I said, that Steals? Cho'Gath using his ult on the cannon minion went into play there. They couldn't kill the target that went on him earlier that they ended up killing. If he had his ult, he could have killed them and healed, gotten not more health, but... He could have killed that target sooner and been able to not take as much damage and maybe turn the tide. Maybe he would have lived or just dealt more damage overall to the back line, killing them sooner so that Rek'Sai doesn't take as many tower shots. It could have been a pretty different story, but it didn't go bad for NYT. Now they're up one kill overall and up 2k gold. Yeah, and uh, apart from that fight, that fight should have been lost from Mercy's side. Um, both teams just did not have a lot of people, even if Rek'Sai came from MYT side, that Kaelin was way too far out of range to even do anything, leaving Talia to be the only one to deal damage. And with the amount of things happening in that end, there's going to be a fight. Ooh, a little bit ult in the mid lane, and Hecti's going to be able to get that kill onto the Renekton. Uh, just so everybody this knows as well, the uh, during that la the two fights ago now, uh, the Scion kind of just walked into the enemy jungle and just took their red uh, with no contest at all. Yeah, I think uh, Mograth might have subbed out for the boss FFS, <laughs> um, and he's just permanently farming now. Yeah, and it is working really well. Scion does not need to get kills to be ahead in lane. Being ahead in TS is already good enough. And NYT is doing their job correctly so far. In Honestly, to kind of game. upsetting to see that uh, Mercy kind of fell through the cracks a little bit so far. Uh, in this latter, you know, past, f what, four minutes? They they kind of had two bad plays in mid and bot. Um, it, even the bot play that just happened, that big fight, was very surprising how it turned out because... I didn't even see the Rek'Sai coming. I just saw the Talia go on, and I thought it was great for Mercy. And then yeah. the Rek'Sai showed up, turned everything around. Great uh, counter gank from read. Not Savior. Like, that was an amazing counter gank. We're going to get um, a gank in the top it, lane. Lot. As Dark Swordsman is going to face off versus the Scion. He's going to get a little bit of a knock up with the stun. Dark Swordsman going to turn away from that one as New York Tech now goes after the Wind Drake. The first dragon of the game. I prefer, you know, like the uh, stereotypical oh, LCM. Oh god. my god. That is the most dead person I've ever seen in League of Legends that this was a year. That combo. That was everything. <laughs> they that were not huge. allowed to play. Someone please clip that. <laughs> um. Jesus. As I was saying, I'm a big fan <laughs> of the. um five minute you know lcs you know rush to elder soul win condition uh so the 12 minute drake here kind of being Ooh. late but oh another fight breaking out it seems uh yeah it looks like the renekton was trying to bait uh the rest of new york tech into the talia but new york tech yeah, coming with another member once again 
Yeah, Sionel is pretty huge and can do a lot of CC. And with Rek'Sai having Prowler's Call, all he has to do is basically E at you Prowler's Call, he gets a free knockup because of his W and mm -hmm. full combo you out. So they have to be very careful when they're trying to posture for a bait or bush play. Thirteen minutes and uh, almost pretty much fourteen minutes into game right now. Around fifteen minutes, we'll check on the uh, the stacks on on um, Senna and the Choga since they are both stacking into infinity right now. And Sion. And Sion. We'll check three different stacks levels. And so, Mercy, you know, compared to last game. This has been really a huge upgrade, understanding their own team comp and having a really good identity in the game. They just need to be more consistent and, you know, they're still not out of the game. Kaelin can still scale, Talia can still scale, and this is a, looking like a really rough match for NYT if they leave too much to open. Sounds gonna meet up with um, the really Darius. interesting. Oh. And... Darius will die from that. They're two two turrets a turret deep in right now. As this is gonna be another kill going over to New York Tech. Vex with no mercy whatsoever as New York Tech send three into the mid lane. Kind of start clearing that one out. It is 15 minutes. I want to hear your guys' guesses before I check on the uh, on the stacks. For please uh, wait a second though, as we're gonna see Sion pop his all into the bottom lane, and it looks like Caitlyn's gonna go down very quick. New York Tech bringing everyone oh, into the bottom lane. No chance whatsoever. The sad face coming out from Caitlyn in the chat. Uh, I don't know about Scion stacks. I'll say around 50 to 60 for Senna, and I'll say about 3 for the Cho'Gath. Okay. I'm saying 73 for Senna and 3 for Cho'Gath, yeah. Okay, let's see. Senna's is at... Wait, one more. If we just wait one more second, we'll be at the funny number. 69 stacks. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah Cho'Gath yeah. is at 5 stacks right now, and wow. the Scion is at 620 stacks. That's 620 health for the sign. I do also want to draw attention to the uh, Senna build that's currently going on. I play Senna mm -hmm. here and there. I really like enjoy playing Senna. Um, really interesting that they're going for the uh, average ADC item of like probably going to be a Kraken as that's basically Senna's most played item that builds uh, from this. Darius, but a lot of the builds deep. right now include my yeah, Darius. God. Said. Eclipse or Divine Sunderer are kind of the two main items um, that Senna's are building right now. So it's really interesting to see, yeah, like I said, the Kraken Slayer coming out. Um, I wonder what's prompting this. Uh, it's, it definitely is a good item for Senna. It is a really good win rate. Um, I prefer more of the Divine Sunder. It keeps you tanky and has a great, like, on-hit effect. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do know that the Eclipse is kind of trending right now and is insane on her. So... I don't know, very interesting choice. Maybe it's because the lead that they do have, they can, maybe it's like a really, like a win more item for them. Not but to mention we'll that their front, line, their front line is just so ridiculously tanky with Sion scaling up and yeah, the Cho'Gat scaling up. I don't think that the uh, Senna needs to worry about that. The flash going over the wall and the kill as Cho'Gat will get that kill with the ult. Yeah, and this says uh you know mercy really fixed their early game and uh oh, no. once they started to lose they kind of really started to lose you hate yeah. to see it happen and the only reason why they are losing right now would be have having to deal with like understanding that just because you gank bot lane once does not mean you can stop ganking bots i mean they ganked it again but you need to it was just like five minutes you need to be active as the jungler yeah, you need on the to map. Be very active in this bot lane, especially towards the Kaelin lane. And because of now where we have issues in other lanes, Kaelin, the only one who's been receiving ganks, mm -hmm. which is only two, is can't help. Everyone's mm -hmm. just very behind. Renekton already lost his spike after mid game. 
Yeah, and it looks like the next item also coming out of Senna is going to be probably an RFC. Also not going the Mana Moon, which is pretty standard for Senna, but... Oh. Really interesting build path. Oh, Rage Blade. Going to be going Rage Blade instead. Here comes the Rek'Sai. She's going to miss the Q, and uh, Not Saver's going to get a couple more hits in, and Hecti's going to be able to secure wow. that kill from themselves. The Caitlyn all popping off, but it's just going to be a little tickle from a distance as the Fear will go on to the Caitlyn, as a fadeaway, a fadeaway Fear will go on to the Caitlyn. New York Tech. Absolutely brutal. Mercy with a, a like couple kind of signs of life in the beginning of this game, but it's all kind of fading Ooh. right through their fingers yeah. as Hecti Ooh. will pop the ult, move directly in, and then coming in for the double kill, here comes Darius maybe to try something. Uh, it's just going to be shattered from a distance. They should have oh, just the walked ult. away when they had the chance. Go up. You have a lot of space. Yeah, now now they're at like what a 12k gold be on back on NYT. It's it's become the last game. It's really unfortunate. Ooh, Mercy Sion's did so good the at in the bottom lane. Game. And it's just still running in. He's oh, running oh. into base. Ladies and gentlemen, he's running into the base. He's gonna make oh, that one left hand turn like he's a semi trucker. Even 90 degrees? Sign that? And th oh my <laughs> they will gosh. still survive. Cho'Gath dying off as the Talia oh, will yeah. not be long for this world. New York Tech with the mechanics. I, I actually expected Sai Hunter to stop at the turret, but decides to make the left hand turn. Darius going to come through and will just be shot down from a distance. Here comes Rek'Sai. The, okay. Um, I don't. Maybe just to deter them. Um, Rexa is in a pretty weird position. If she really wanted that turn, it, NYT should have gotten it together. Oh well, we're gonna have oh. another fight here. New York Tech is gonna try to do a. Uh, 3v5 right now as uh, the Togath will be going down and everybody's going to start keep running away. Mograf just barely dodging that seismic shove. But here comes Hecti. He's going to come in. He's going to come. He's going to go godlike. He's going to get a double kill for themselves. Going to go in for the triple. Trishy washi going to be a little wishy washy. Maybe yes, getting that kill. Here comes the rest so of the team. So many ult resets for Hecti 12. Oh my god. You know what that uh you know what that left hand turn into the base reminded me? You guys remember from uh Worlds last year where I forgot what team did it, but there was just like a gin inside the enemy base. Oh, like shooting yeah. from inside an enemy base, and I was like, yeah. what the hell is that guy doing there? How did he get in? And yeah, this game is just gonna It's end. just League of Legends. It's a legendary moment at this point. Well, and Kaylin's just gonna ult to test her damage. Realize she doesn't do damage. I don't know what she's building perhaps that might be i don't know well myt really really strong gonna clear Realizes off this inhibitor that... turret and looks like they will be going for the inhibitor as well it's gonna be two inhibitors down scion does have his ult he can just run all the way in and the caitlin will not be able to see the scion at all because they are dead new york tech is just pushing in two waves of minions now crashing up on the nexus turrets and a nice wall to kind of separate angeritsu from the rest of the team do they have flash no they do not let's see if they will be able to survive this as the rest of the team is just waiting for the wall to go down the scion center will be going down as rest is going to be able to get the kill onto the Darius and New York Tech still clearing up and clearing down, cleaning up as New York Tech with one turret left and just the Talia left starting the game yeah. off strong and with the Caitlyn, will they be able to kill in base is the question. It looks like they will not. It looks like they're going to be waiting and just see if they can get some fade away kills on this one. Nexus is going to slowly tick down and New York Tech take the win. 2-0 over Mercy College Mavericks. Yep. And Brutal game. to NYT starting off the first game of the season with a really strong performance. Sub 20 minute uh, finishes for both sides for both games and yeah. Okay. Um
we are going to just do a small reset and uh we might get an interview in really quick uh so uh rentai can you do me a favor and just message them to see um who wants to do interview yeah sure thank you we'll be getting started in just a moment and uh, we will talk to you guys in a bit with an interview from a player on the new york tech And, um <laughs> let's ladies and gentlemen we are back and uh <laughs> welcome to andritsu jordan and uh, not savior chris in the chat for this one how you doing Yo. doing good man doing coming good. off a good win i'm doing pretty all right yeah it was a good game it was a good game so uh i wanted to start this off with a very Hard hitting question for the jungler. <laughs> what went into your decision? Your bold, bold choice to start with no jungle item at the beginning. All right. Well, here's my thought process. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah. I just forgot. Uh. Actually, I would just say something so I've... controversial yet so brave. Yeah. Um. Actually, I'll answer that for him. He actually did not get it, so that he's below level of the enemy jungler, so that he'll get catch up XP. Oh, oh exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was that a strat. was a strat. It was a strat. Yeah. It was but, a big uh, range strat. You know, it, it they, they weren't ready. In the, it ended up be being able to just go mid and get the kill as I wanted it anyway, but mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, <laughs> and for more on the series topic, um, this is the first time, I guess, the first game we've seen Zeri. Uh, what are your thoughts on the champion itself? Uh, this is directed towards Jordan. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, I think Zeri's like, to be honest, they tried to nerf her, uh, Triforce build. I think we, uh, I forget what the item is, uh, Runance, but I think it's still pretty strong. Uh, the champ just like you, just, you just move way too fast, and there's nothing you can do. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it is pretty insane. Yeah, and second game, you guys also uh pulled up. The Senna Cho'Gath instead of the traditional Senna Tom Kench, but this mm -hmm. is still passing Senna. Uh, what are your thoughts on that game as well? Why did you? Is there a reason why you chose it? Is there like? Uh, well, we figured like we're 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 trying to 
practice a little bit of tech then so we, we don't want to show all of it but like we might as well try some of the one that we were working on recently so that would be the Senna Chogath and it's it's super super good for scaling uh, and you also have a decent amount of sustain in lane we ignore the fact that we died uh, to the gank we, we'll just pretend like that didn't happen uh, but yeah other than that I think it's it's super good you saw I had like insane range at the end of the game so yeah as um as we're gonna go close this off i do have one last question for chris mm -hmm. we we did see like a triple well i guess you would say a triple ban towards you the I'm diana Rexai, yeah diana Rexai hecarim yeah um i called it the master fear factor bro uh <laughs> they saw like it happened last season as well when uh hector hit masters they started just like hard banning his entire pool and yeah i don't know uh i was forced onto a tank out of my not free will but it worked out and the second game i got rex size so we were chilling mm. all right and well frank do you have any questions um i did want to ask jordan because you took my one that I wanted to ask for Chris. Yeah. I wanted to ask Jordan about the build path choice for mm -hmm. Senna. Um, I play Senna very infrequently, but I do know about her build paths. A lot of them go um, the mana either moon, Eclipse no. or Divine Sunderer currently into mm -hmm. a Mana Moon. And you did not bail the Mana Moon, and you did not go Eclipse. I understand that you didn't make none of them needed to be tanky because of Divine. Um, and Kraken maybe to kill their tanks. Uh, just elaborate a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. So I think when I, w I was definitely going the Eclipse Mana Moon build before this patch where like they hard nerfed just regular ADC Senna. Uh, mm -hmm. But we were actually when practicing it a lot, it felt like uh, the the typical crit ADC build was coming online like a lot faster than the Mana Moon one. Like even though you, you hit a little bit harder with the lethality sometimes it just like the the crit build felt more consistent so mm -hmm. we decided to go with that plus i think in pro play they were doing uh the crit build on senna a bit more so yeah okay. that, that's why we went that nice um i don't think red side has any more questions i don't have any questions uh Duran, did you wanna so next week you guys have a buy so we don't have to worry too much about that but the week after you guys are versus malloy college how uh you have any thoughts about that yet or you're kind of just taking a one one match one match at a time one week at a time i mean me, uh, me personally i'm, I'm first yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take the first one here uh, i mean I'm, I'm a bit excited i remember last year like they were pretty good and they were one of the the first teams that actually took a game off of us i think in in scrims and um uh, but yeah i think it should be a bit of a banger when we play against them uh and hopefully it's a good game and we can get the dub then yeah um so since it's my first season i don't really have much experience versus them but i've heard from all my teammates that yeah they're they're they sound pretty good so i'm pretty excited Maybe it'll be in a, an excited match to play. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to play against them. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to be it for today, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. Thank you for uh, for taking time after your game to, uh, to take this interview with us, guys. Uh, we will see you guys, not next week for League of Legends, but we see you guys the week after. If you guys want to see some more uh, Cybears action, we're going to try streaming at least five to six days a week, every day, another Cybears match. Um, from what I'm aware of, we will be streaming most likely Smash Brothers on Monday. If you guys want to see the rest of our social media, you can go into our Twitter, which has our LinkedIn, or if not, you can scroll down, and uh, we will be posting this up on on our youtube as soon as we possibly can uh thank you guys for coming by uh thank you to our casters uh tragic and rentai for casting today and thank you guys for the wonderful game thank you man thank you thank you okay have a wonderful day all in your future games bye bye, bye. yep uh frank yeah <laughs>